Is your Safari browser lagging post-update? Here are 14 solutions. Refresh the web page. On the Safari tab, press Command and our keys on your keyboard. Or you can select View in the menu bar and click Reload Page from the drop-down menu. Before moving to the next step, we would like to recommend Combo Cleaner. To keep your device running smoothly, avoid malware infections, and free up disk space, we recommend using Combo Cleaner. Available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS devices. Download and install it today at ComboCleaner.com. Grab our limited deal for Windows and Mac users. Use the coupon code PCRISK30 for 30% off at the checkout. Force Quit Safari. Click the Apple logo and select Force Quit. Select Safari and click Force Quit. Confirm the action and reopen the browser. Reset Mac Network Settings. Open the terminal app. In the terminal window, enter sudo if config en0 down. This command stops the Wi-Fi on your Mac. Enter your password. You won't see it being typed, so type carefully. Turn on Wi-Fi again by entering the command, sudo if config en0 up. If your Wi-Fi doesn't turn back on with the previous command, try this one, if config a Restart your Mac. During a restart, your Mac closes all running programs and processes, including any that might be causing issues with Safari. This process effectively resets the operating system state, potentially resolving conflicts or errors that occurred during the update. Turn off your VPN. Navigate to System Settings from the Apple logo and click Network. Click on VPN. Turn off the VPN. Open Safari in Incognito. Open Safari as you usually do. Press Command plus Shift plus N on your keyboard. This shortcut will open a new private window. Or open the file menu from the menu bar and click New Private Window. Delete Safari History, Cache, and Cookies. To clear History and Cookies, open Safari. From the menu bar, click History and select Clear History. Select All History from the drop-down menu and confirm the action. To clear Cache, open Safari and, from the menu bar, click on the Safari menu. Go to Settings. Choose the Advanced tab. Select the box next to Show Features for Web Developers. Then, click Develop and select Empty Caches. Quit Safari and open it again. Disable Safari Extensions. Open your Safari browser. Click Safari from the menu bar at the top, then select Settings. Choose Extensions, then turn off any extensions by unchecking them. To remove them completely, simply press Delete or Uninstall for each extension you wish to get rid of. Enable JavaScript. Open Safari, and from the Safari menu, go to Settings. Click on Security. Tick the box next to Enable JavaScript if it's not yet checked. Disable iCloud Private Relay. Click on the Apple menu. Select System Settings and click on your Apple ID. Choose iCloud. Click Private Relay and toggle off to turn it off. Available only if you have iCloud Plus. Delete Safari Preference Files. Close Safari if it's open. Open Finder. Open the Go menu from the menu bar and press the Option key to expand the menu. Select Library. Navigate to Containers. Safari. Data. Library. Safari. Delete all files ending with .db, .db-shm, .db-wal. Flush your DNS cache. Open Terminal. In the Terminal window, enter sudo ds cache util dash flush cache semicolon sudo kill all dash h upm dns responder. You might need to enter your password. You won't see it being typed, so type carefully. Update Mac OS. Go to the Apple menu and click System Settings. 
Choose General and select the Software Update option. If an update is available, click Update Now. Open Safari in Safe Mode. Intel-based Mac. Restart or turn on Mac OS and quickly hold the Shift key on your keyboard. Release the key when you see a login window. On the first or second login window, you will see Safe Boot written in the menu bar. Log into your Mac. If asked, log in again. Open Safari and check if it works as it should. Restart your Mac to exit safe mode. Apple Silicon Mac. Press and hold the power button when the Mac is turned off. Release the power button when you see a loading startup options window and select a volume. Press the shift key and hold. Then click continue in safe mode. Wait until your Mac restarts. You will see Safe Boot in the menu bar. Check if Safari works as it's supposed to. Now restart your Mac to return to your regular interface. To keep your Mac clutter and virus free, download the Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer from malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The Disk Cleaner will scan Mac for application cache, logs, browser data and other useless files that can be safely removed to regain valuable disk space. It will also show you how much space what files take up in storage. With Combo Cleaner you can look through all big files with ease and delete the ones you don't need. You can also scan for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. With Privacy Scanner eliminate data stored when browsing the internet, including cookies, history, cache, and other files that can reveal your private information. The uninstaller feature allows you to find hidden components of applications and uninstall them from your Mac completely with just a couple of clicks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel.